Hello, hello, I am back. My name is Mateen and in this tutorial video I'll be going through some really basic design uh, skills that they're not very complicated, they are very basic, but you need to know how to use them pretty extensively. So uh, this is GIMP Shop. It's a free Photoshop equivalent program out there. Uh, you can download it if you, I think you just search GIMP Shop uh, on Google and you'll get a free download link. Just download it from there. Uh, this is what I used to, to to do all my designing from Teespring to even phone applications. Anything got to do with design I can probably get away with it just using GIMP Shop. It's pretty technical but for the most part it's very simple. Uh, the, the really, You just need to know the basics to uh, make some really good designs. So usually what I do is I, I go file new um, I usually use a 640 by 400 template. These days I'm using 960 by 600, which just gives me more of a larger space to work from, and so the designs are a bit more clearer. Um, I'm not sure how many of you guys are familiar with Photoshop, but this, this layering system is something takes you a while to get your head around, but it can. It's really cool the way it works. So what I'm going to do is just add a couple of add three layers. We're going to take away this white background so if I just click this eye button that goes away. Don't worry about this checkered space. This is effectively a blank um, screen uh, palette. It's a blank palette. Uh, when you save your design this checkered stuff doesn't come there. So what I'm going to do is just quickly go to Google. We'll just go to google.com search cat silhouette Okay. okay, and we're going to get a few cat silhouettes. So say I want a design um, of, you know, I love cats. So say we want this. So what I just did there was click print screen, paste, we'll cut out this cat, control X, cut, right click, E, which is edit, edit, and I usually press A, which is paste as, and you want to paste as a new layer. Right, so that'll allow you to move it around and do things with it. Don't just press control V, I don't know why, it just doesn't work. Okay, so that's that, you know, now, you say I want it on a black shirt, so I'd want this cat to be white, white then, because you don't want black on black, so what I'd do is make sure this layer is selected, and I'd go colors invert. So now I've got a white cat, and I want to get rid of this black background. So I'd click this uh, what's it called fuzzy select tool. I'd click that. I'd play around with this bar. This bar basically the more higher it is, the more of that type of color it'll select. So if I were to just go, you know, if this threshold was say 1.4, and I click that, then it'll select um, just the grey that I've selected from the check it's the check it space. So see that grey? That particular grey there? You'll just select that. But I wanted to select more something you know, I wanted to select colours that are in the grey black range. So I'd increase this threshold to something higher. And see it's select all selected all of it now. So I press delete and now I've just got my cat. There you go. Um then I'd so I want to resize that, so I'd, so I'd go Shift T, which is the shortcut for I think that scale tool. So I use shortcuts a lot; it makes it a lot more quicker. So um, I'd click this so that it's it does it um, proportionally to the height and width of the original picture. So I'd press Enter. So I want it that big. There you go. There's my cat. Um, now I want to add some text. Let's just say, I love cats. Now increase that. Um, I want to change the font, so I'm going to come here. Make sure, wait, that's not the default thing, so I'll make sure this box is selected. I'm going to click this button, then that button, and now I can actually go through the fonts and see which font I like. 
So let's just keep going until I find something nice. Uh, hmm. I knew. I love cats. New. No. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a nice one. So I want that there. Okay, so let's increase this. Let's make it white. Or we can make it hot pink. Girls usually like. Um, females are found by good when you you've got a black shirt and you you make it hot pink. Either white or hot pink. I use. So there's that. I love cats. Um, notice how there's a bit of white there, a bit of a white line. So how this layer system works is, say I'm on this layer, which is the text layer. If I want to cut any cut anything from this cat, um, then nothing's gonna go. So I selected that, pressed the delete button, nothing's going. But if I were to click on that layer and try and highlight that little bit of white that was there, press delete. And now we're back here. See it's gone? And see there's a bit of white line there. Let's zoom in. See that white line? So I want that to go away. So I'm going to come here. Select it. Boom. Go on. And there you go. There's that done. So, we've got I love cats. And now say we want some love hearts. So we'll come here. Uh, pink love heart. There you go, there's something basic. Print screen, paste it on paint, chop it out here, control X, back here, control, control V, selection widget, selection tool, get rid of that. And even if, say, I want to rotate this, so I'd go rotate, click this rotate button. Okay, let's make it like that. I love cats. Um, can even make it. S what we can do is we can click that, right click, press U, U. U is the shortcut for duplicate. So now we've got three of them. You can make them different sizes. One small, one big one over here. Mm, one even smaller. I love cats. Uh, Say so that's that's my design. That's what I want, right? So now I go file. You don't go save as. Save as will save the template, but you want just the design. So you do uh, template design. Um, let's just go to pictures. Go cat. Boom. Okay. There you go. And now, say I want to upload that onto a Teespring campaign, so I'd open... For some reason, my Teespring campaign editor has issues in Chrome, so I always use Firefox. So let's open Firefox. Teespring.com Tease ring. No, we want tease spring. I'll log in. Let's launch it. Launch a campaign. So you can upload your art. Now you upload that picture. Um, cat. Make it a black shirt. And there you go. I love cats. Simple little design. Make it a hoodie. Right, there you go. So that's some really basic stuff you can do with Gimp Shop. Um, Opportunities are endless. You can change the colors. You can change the colors. You can change it from a cat to a dog. You can do a lot actually, but this is really just the basic stuff that I use. I haven't really used much. I've just used the uh, magic wand tool, which is what it's called in Photoshop, but in GIMP, I think. 
let's call this this one here. What's that? The fuzzy select tool. That to get rid of the background colors. I've used different text. Um, made a different color. I've made. I've used co copy and paste. Um, it's really simple stuff, guys. There's not much to it. So that's simple design with GIMP. Hopefully that will help you with your Teespring adventures. If you want to save the actual template, you press save as, you save it as an XCF file. So let's just save that. Boom. So now you've got it as an actual picture file, which is your PNG file, and then you've got this actual template. So you can come back to this and you can, you know, if you want to get rid of this cat, press this I button, the cat goes away, and then you can paste a dog there. And now you've got the same design but for dogs. And you can change this text to dogs. Simple. Alright guys. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. I'll meet you guys in the other one.